Hello, this is Helen Schaefer, bringing out the artist in you. Hello, sweetheart. Hi. Happy Valentine's oh Day. Oh my gosh. And happy Valentine's to every, each and every oh, one of you out wonderful. there. this is wonderful. Thank you, you so much. You think that this would fit into your uh, Valentine's would. bag? It would. It would. Oh, I love orchids. This, these are gorgeous. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. While Helen is creating a heart doodle for you using Holbein tube watercolors, I will share with you our secret for staying married 59 years in three tips. I hope this advice will help you in your relationships. I came to this country from Germany in 1952. And in 1955, I met Helen through my cousin on her Wisconsin farm. There was an immediate physical attraction, to be sure, but I also saw a spark of creativity in her that had to be explored. So we continued to meet over the next few years until we got married in 1960. This leads me to tip number one of staying married to an artist. Support and nurture their creative side. Do not stifle them. That will only get you in trouble. Tip number two that I have learned from being married 59 years to an artist is never go to bed angry. If you do, you can't sleep, you wake up grouchy, and you feel terrible and nothing has been resolved. We have raised two children, our son Jeffrey Schaefer and our artist daughter Dina Thompson. I'm a retired electrical engineer and Helen is a retired school teacher. Our different personalities clash at times, but it's important to take a deep breath and count to five. Better yet, count to ten before responding. Artists have a reputation for being temperamental, as can anyone. It is important to always forgive one another. After all, we're all human and we all make mistakes. Tip number three I have for you is no matter how cluttered your space becomes, new art supplies and plenty of them are essential to living with an artist. You as artists know this, don't you? Especially an art supply junkie, like my wonderful bride, Helen Schaefer, your art supply junkie who is ready to share tips and tricks to bring the artist out in you. Flowers too are essential. I met one of my lawn bowling friends in the store yesterday. I was buying the orchid and his first comment was, you must have done something wrong. To which I happily replied, no, it is Valentine's Day. Now Helen has arranged a rose and rose petals around her Valentine water doodle. Do you like to create doodles too? Leave us a comment below. We love hearing from you. I hope this advice will help you in your relationship, whether you have been together 59 minutes or 59 years. Love one another. Okay, this is Helen and... <laughs> and Dietrich. Oh, this, yes. Okay, this is Dietrich. And Helen. We have to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, we'll say it together. You, can, you know, wait, just wait, you've got lipstick. Happy, happy Valentine's wait, Day. Wait, wait, you want some more? No. Oh. Happy Valentine's Day. And happy Valentine's, happy Valentine's Day to each and every one of you. Bye. Bye.